Hi guys, my name is Marissa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you 10 of my favorite beauty products. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and turn on bell notifications so that you don't miss when I upload. I have uploaded another video like this before showing 10 additional items that I consider holy grail. I am going to start with skincare items. The first item is from Trader Joe's. You don't think of Trader Joe's when you think of skincare because <laughs> normally you would just get groceries there, but they have a couple of items that I love. I like to use these makeup wipes. I have tried a ton of different brands of makeup wipes and I find that a lot of them are either too abrasive or they are dry and that they don't stay moist once you've opened them. I've never had a problem with these drying out and irritating my skin or being abrasive when I'm trying to use them to remove makeup. This is probably my 15th package of these and they're only, I think that they're $3.99, something like that. They're not very expensive when you look at the price of other makeup wipes, but these are a must pick up if you're in a Trader Joe's. My next skincare product is also from Trader Joe's. It is this rose water facial toner. I will use this on my beauty blender before applying my foundation. So I will just squirt my beauty blender with this instead of using water. And I find that it gives a more dewy finish to my makeup. I will also use this after washing my face. And sometimes I will use this as a setting spray. So again, this is maybe two or three dollars. It's very inexpensive, but it's a great staple skincare item. I have this Palmer's coconut facial scrub. This brand I really like. It's very inexpensive. You can order it off of Amazon. This does sell out a lot. There is an influencer. What is her name? Jen? Jen Reed, the sister studio. She started talking about this and she's why I ordered it. And anything that girl talks about sells out immediately. So this is kind of hard to find, but if you are able to get it when it's in stock, it is really inexpensive. The next item is also a Palmer's product. This is a lotion. This is really thick and a lot of people use it when they're pregnant to prevent stretch marks, but I just use it all the time. It's great at hydrating your skin. And again, I picked this up at Target. I think they also have it on Amazon, but it's really inexpensive. These are from Dollar Shave Club. My husband started ordering these and I started stealing them. So these are, these are I think $9 a month and you get four razors. We will just let it go for a while and then when we find that we've got a huge stockpile of these, we'll cancel the subscription for a while or pause it. I guess we don't fully cancel it, but we just pause the subscription for a while, wait till we're running low and then reactivate it. These do a really good job though. And I heard a lot about the Billy razors. I haven't tried those, so I don't know how these compare, but these are something that I've been using for a number of years and I swear by them. I am now going to talk about hair care products. If you have watched any of my videos related to my hair, you know that I swear by living proof products. There are very few hair products I use that are not living proof and this video is no exception to that. So I have this style extender. This is just a cream that I put in my hair. I will put a pea sized amount of this into my hand rub it into my palms and then put it throughout my hair before I blow dry it. This is something that I use if I know that I'm gonna go a couple days without washing my hair. And I don't find that it leaves my hair gritty or greasy. It doesn't uh, leave any residue feeling in my hair. It just helps extend my hairstyle and make it last a little bit longer. The next product is this thickening cream that's from Living Proof. 
this I will use if I am wanting to have a lot of volume in my hair. So if I am going to be fat combing my hair, if I am going to do a half top knot, I have a video of that showing how I do a half top knot. I will put this in my hair when it's wet and it does a good job of just giving you some extra body, some extra volume in your hair without weighing it down. Just put a pea sized amount into my hand, rub it together, put it into my roots. I really focus on the roots with this product before I blow dry my hair. Next, I'm going to talk about makeup items. I love these Bite Beauty. I have different sizes of them. I love these Bite Beauty lipsticks. They are reformulating these, so I've had a really hard time finding them. My Sephora has been out for it feels like six months. Maybe it's not been that long, but a long time. They've been out of them. They then went 50% off. And I think that they're trying to go vegan, maybe just cruelty free. I don't know. They're doing something where they're, maybe they're trying to be more sustainable. I don't remember exactly why they're reformulating, but they're doing something to reformulate their lipsticks. And I haven't tried the new formulation, so I don't know how it compares to these, but these lipsticks are great. They are really pigmented and I've never had any problem with them wearing off or uh, smudging. They come, they have every color under the sun and I swear by these. These are my absolute favorite lip product. Next makeup item is this eyeliner. This is by Marc Jacobs. It looks like a little felt pen. I am awful at eyeliner. I'm terrible doing a wing. I'm terrible about getting it close to my lash line. I can really botch my makeup by trying to apply eyeliner and have found that this is my best bet because I can have better control and precision. I like that the end of it is really thin. And even with this, sometimes I'll screw up my makeup trying to do my eyeliner, but this is the product that I've had the best luck with. It's a little bit pricey, but I've had this for a long time and it, I would assume I only have to buy a couple of these a year. I guess I don't know long how long they're good for before they expire. Uh, perfect six months so these are good for six months and I would say they probably last that long so it's worth the investment the final product I'm going to talk about is a perfume this is another thing that I discovered because of the sister studio on Instagram if you don't follow that girl she's amazing she has phenomenal taste anything she recommends I have found this pretty solid recommendation this perfume I've said it before, I don't know how to describe fragrances, but this I love. I get tons of compliments on this anytime I wear it. It's by Lancome and what's it called? Door, I think. Uh, it doesn't say on this bottle. This is what the bottle looks like. And if you go to Lancome's website, you're able to order it. They also have it at Sephora and Ulta. It smells so nice. I think that it won the best fragrance by Allure magazine for 2019. That might not be right, but I think that that's the case. I, it's not abundantly floral smelling. I don't know, it's just a really nice scent. So, when we're no longer social quarantining and we can go back to shopping as usual and the malls are open and life is back to some version of normal, I would go to the mall and smell this perfume because it smells great. I would love to know what your top beauty products are, what the products are that you find yourself reaching for and that on that are tried and true, holy grail go-to items. Leave your recommendations in the comment down below so that we can all share and find out what everyone's favorite products are. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, turn on bell notifications so that you don't miss when I upload. Bye. Anybody else have
having problems with self quarantine? Anybody else's kids fighting because they're home all the time and they can't leave and they can't go to the park <laughs> and they can't expel energy like they normally would? Uh, mine definitely are. Wow. Some days are better than others. <laughs> when my hair is wet, before I'll just My next skincare item is this Palmer Sugar Scrub. We're just gonna have to film this with them yelling at each other in the background. My husband is in there, they're not by themselves. <laughs> 